everybody, welcome back to Chem Talk. My name is Rachel and today I'm going to be using various pH indicators to test the pH of three different samples of soil. And if you watch till the very end, I'm going to be showing you a trick that you can use at home to test the pH of your soil. So here I have two samples of acid. So acetic acid is in these two beakers and in here I have a solution of potassium hydroxide. So we got our acids and our bases. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the phenol red indicator and the bromothymol blue indicator into both um, the acid and the base just to see what color we should expect. So first I'm taking the phenol red. Drop a bit into the acid, swirl it around a little. So we have an orange yellow color here for the acid. And now let me drop the same indicator, the phenol red, into the potassium hydroxide solution. And that's very different, right? Now we have this deep purple color. So for the phenol red in acid, we have a yellow orangey color, and in base, we have purple. So now for the bromothymol blue. So first into the acetic acid. Looks like that's also gonna be yellow. All right, so our acids are yellow. It's a little more pale yellow. Drop a little more in there. And potassium hydroxide. So we got that dark blue color for our base. So again, Phenol red on this side, bromothymol blue on this side. So this is what we need to compare it to when we look at our soil samples. I'm going to add water to these three samples and mix it around before filtering and testing the pH. I have, this is the soil from the garden outside. This is the soil from the ground outside. And this is the soil from my house. So a separate location. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. Let it soak for a little bit and mix it around. All right, so first I'm adding the phenol red indicator to the garden soil, the ground soil, and from my house. Shake it around a little bit. So we will let that settle for a bit. And let's move on to the bromothymol blue. All right, so now we're gonna add the bromothymol blue. Garden soil, ground soil, and soil from home. pH indicators are the most effective in their intermediate range. This is the range of pH where it's changing from acidic to basic. For bromothymol blue, the indicator range is from about six to 7.5. And for phenol red, it's about seven to eight. So if our soil is slightly acidic, we should be able to catch it with the bromothymol blue. And if it's slightly alkaline, we should be able to catch it with the phenol red. So here are the final results. You can see that the phenol red indicator was a little bit less effective because the colors are not very distinct. So the pHs of each of these soils likely fell outside of the sensitivity range for phenol red. However, that's why we use two indicators. The bromothymol blue does show more distinction and it actually showed us that the soil from my home was slightly acidic um, and the soil here from both the garden and the ground was slightly basic. However, the ground is a little bit darker blue so that means the ground soil is slightly more basic than the garden soil. So since my test showed the ground soil was the most basic, I'm going to try a technique that you can try at home to see if your soil is basic. And all I need is some vinegar. I'm gonna pour the vinegar into the soil and if it bubbles, that means it's slightly alkaline because the acid is reacting with the carbonates in the soil to form carbon dioxide gas, which is what's being released when it's bubbling. So let's try this out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. If you try out the acetic acid trick at home, let me know down below in the comments, but I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching a ChemTalk original. If this video was helpful, then like and subscribe below. 
For more chemistry resources, check out our website at www.chemistrytalk.org, where you can find hundreds of tutorials and our amazing interactive periodic table. Feed your algorithm more science education data points by following us on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Facebook. Come talk to you later.